just landed in Perth, Australia. Got off the plane and left my fucking iPhone somewhere at the airport. And this is like the tenth time I've almost left it in a van or an airport or a plane seat. Fuck. sucks how much I'm attached to my iPhone <laughs> how much how important it has become that I literally have every contact and email and fuck when you're on tour you gotta go back and pick up your phone because you ain't coming back to Perth <laughs> Australia <sighs> fucking idiot fucking idiot what a dick what a dick. Last night of Australia. Pretty excited. And a little worried. I've got, uh, I'm starting to get a head cold. And, uh, my ear is so plugged up right now. And if any of you have been following the general journals, I've talked about how about 10 years ago I got kicked off of a flight because my left ear was plugged up too much. Uh, this is like the same type of cold and I've got the same type of pain right now after this one flight and tomorrow we fly to Japan two flights really hoping that that doesn't happen positive. what's that? I, think positive. I am I was just I mean I was just thinking it on the plane when I was when the plane was landing I was like there's nothing I can do about it and if it happens it happens and me worrying about it or tripping out on it is uh, worrying about the weather. But I can't hear out of my left ear right now. <laughs> I know that. And I'm, I'm going to imagine that after the show it'll be unclogged because I'll sweat and bang. And... Yeah, so hopefully that'll be enough to shake it loose.
Knox to life save charge. Do you understand me? Knox to life save charge. Are you ready? Jay McClain. such a good show so crazy tons of girls and just everyone was hammered <laughs> I love because it makes for an awesome show you know people just get loose and they get wild and they get crazy and, and uh, man it was a blast what a great way to put an exclamation point at the end of Australia. Such an amazing run. Whole tour sold out. Nine shows. Most of them sold out in advance. Yeah, thank you, Australia. Thank you. for a day off. Well, yesterday when I got off the plane, I had, uh, I had this really brutal ear pain. And I'm starting to get a head cold. And I've had this happen before where I had to do flights with the head cold. And back in 2004 on the Through the Ashes tour, they kicked me off the plane because there's this long, unspoken rule about if you have a head cold, you can basically blow your eardrum out from the pressure going up and down. And uh, it sucked. I had to spend five days in Zurich after an 80-day tour. Oh my God, I was ready to kill motherfuckers. But we have two flights today. One to Kuala Lumpur and the other from Kuala Lumpur to Tokyo. And fuck, I really hope if we can, I really hope we can, that this doesn't happen because of this ear pressure. It took me almost all day to unclog my ear and I woke up today hoping that I was going to be feeling less sick and less stuffed up. Because, you know, really, like, if it's just a head cold, no big fucking deal. But it is a big deal if I gotta fly. And so, uh... I'm a little freaked out. I really fucking hope it goes okay with this first flight. Because if I get stuck in goddamn Kuala Lumpur, waiting for this head cold to pass...
started convulsing everywhere. Like I couldn't fucking think. It was fucking agony. I've never had anything like that. I don't even know what happened just now. Like for us, what it sounds like is... And I lost like control of my whole body. Probably went into some kind of meditation. It's part of the Saved the day. I don't know if he saved my life, but he fucking yeah. saved the day. He gets uh... a. <laughs> and I don't really know what happened. And Christ, uh, dude. I look back, and you're like, I have no idea what was going on with you. And I see Dave just kind of like, Hey dude, hey dude, and he's looking at me, and and then you know I couldn't get up to go over there. I mean, you weren't really responsive to me. Um, you, your skin was ice cold, clammy, uh, sweating. You were convulsing. You were completely just stiff and rigid. Um, hey, you said I was like, just yeah, you were in shock. Function. You definitely were in shock. Function like, there's no, there's no doubt about it. Uh -huh. uh, just to keep you calm, cool, and collective, and telling you know yeah. the, the flight crew to get. Emergency services, which took uh, well over 20 minutes. I mean, Holy shit, you know. that's crazy. Dude, but we were all the way in the back of the plane, so so you got all your shit started happening while you were up in the air. So however long that was in the air, then we taxied, then stopped. Then everybody had to get off before <laughs> before us, and by the time I got up there. I was like, how long is it gonna, does it take to get, you know, medical personnel here when there's an emergency? Yeah. And nobody came until we were getting you off the plane. It was, it was, it was a scary situation. You know, nobody knew what was going on. And, you know, the only, the only person who had the situation under control was Steve. Yeah. I know. You know? That's totally true. And, you know, you rocked thankful it. for your... Past work experience. I'm telling you, dude. Like, <laughs> I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I would have done without you. That was awesome. Yeah. Thank you. All right, we're at the airport hotel. Sama Sama. Hey, Joey. Yo. All right, you're on the air with Sick Boy Express. Your Our boy here, Rob, just keeps uh, having things happen to him on this tour. Gallbladder, Montezuma's Revenge. Yeah. Now I'm even worse today. Like, I'm way more stuffed up. There's no way I'm gonna fly. What's that? Nothing I gave you is kicking in right now. My 
head, my ears are totally, completely blocked still. I still have, I can barely even hear out of my left ear. My right ear feels like it's underwater. How much time do you guys have before? If we don't make tonight's flight, we're not making Tokyo at all. off and not being able to sleep and just fucking last four or five days been fucking grueling. If I fly tonight, there is an extremely high likelihood that I'm going to blow out my eardrum. I mean, after the pain that I went through last night, the pain that I went through the day before was excruciating. Yesterday was shit I've never felt in my life. I didn't even know it was possible for your fucking ears to hurt that much. So how are we gonna play this? I mean, obviously you can't put yourself in a position where you're gonna fucking damage yourself. Because the doctor says that if he if something happens. We're looking at minimum six months. So at six months, he's going to be down. So that means the rest of this year is wiped out. Well, it's clearly not going to work. Maybe try to move the Tokyo show to the day after Nagoya. And that gives us... That's going to depend on venue of veils more than anything. Um, yeah. I seriously want to consider moving all these shows to next year. I just I just don't think well, it's... We don't have a choice, but we better figure out what the fuck's going on first. Yeah. You know, it's going to put us in the financial tailspin right about now. We can cancel now or, and I mean, it's going to be, yeah, it's, I mean, either way, it's going to be a f financial disaster, but we can cancel now, have him rest to a point where he can fly safely home, or <coughs> in a day or two, I mean, who knows if you're be good enough, you might think you're good enough, fly, land, and go through all this again. You're fucked for six months. I I don't think that's a risk we're willing to take. This isn't you had surgery and you're just going to be in pain and you can't just move. You have to move a little less than normal. This is potentially a very very serious injury. Sit in silence, deaf to all.